Hello, my name is Saul Cantu, and this is Texas Math Mundo. Well, this past week, district results from 2021 have been posted. And today's show will be about commenting, analyzing, uh, highlighting strong performances from strong students and strong schools across the state as we enter to region, which will be next weekend. So there's some interesting battles shaping up. And uh, it'll be a good show just to, to highlight some of the strengths in the state and um, some of the performance from the state. I hope you enjoy. All right, Texas Math Mundo audience and fans. I've looked at all the district results from this past week, at least the ones that are posted. And uh, there's some interesting results. Let's jump right into it. In Conference 1A, I looked at all the results, and what I did notice is there are several competitive calculator teams, mostly. Um, so in District, so the first competitive calculator team I saw was in District 3, the uh, Tigers from Hartley. So the Hartley Tigers, they had a pretty respectable score. I think that was possibly the hardest, the uh, top score in the region, Region 1. So we go to the results from District 3, Calculator Events, and you'll see that Hartley has a calculator team, a really good one, the, tar the Tigers from Hartley. Uh, they're led by an Elva Soto with a very respectable score of 252, and that, I believe, will be the top score in Region 1 for Calculator. Um, if we go back to District 5 also had a good team, uh, the, the Pat Patton, let's see, District 5, I notice the Afton Patton Springs uh, team also had a pretty respectable team. So District 5, we look at the results from 1A, this is all conference 1A. They have a team, you, they can tell that they score a team, it was probably the Tiger Harleys in District 3 are the calculator team to beat. But I did want to applaud them. At least they had the team. It looks like they are practicing. So that's also pretty good. Now, um, out of, uh, that's District 5. Now, District 7, I noted that the, uh, the Antelope from Whiteface also have a respectable team. Antelope from Whiteface. And if we look at District 8, we got Garden City with the team. So let's look at the District 8 results. District 8 results. And, and calculator, applications, Garden City has a little bit of a respectable team, 496. Again, the District 3 Ti uh, Harley Tigers look like the team to beat. But I did notice that uh, Garden City, the Bearcats from Garden City, do have a little bit of a number sense team as well. If we look at their number sense score. Uh, it's 105, 104, 102. So they've been practicing a little bit and they have a respectable team. They know what they're doing over there with a score of 311. So uh, I didn't notice any significant scores in uh, Conference 1A Region 1 in uh, math or science, uh, but I want to highlight some of the stronger performances. And so that's it. So the the team to beat, looks like, will be the Hartley Tigers in, uh, from District 3 in Region 1. We'll see how it all shapes up this next weekend in the regional tournaments. All right. Region 2, Conference 1A. Region 2, I noticed District 10. District 10, and we have the Red Devils from Rankin High School. Right, let's take a look at their scores. Let's see who they're led by. District 10... Results, if we look at their calculator score, pretty pretty respectable score. We have the Rankin Red Devils. See, 210, 210. You're scoring over 200. You, you know a little something. Uh, so they have a score of 575, uh, led by Jaimeka Sakamoto. All right, that's pretty good. Uh, let's see what else we got. I noticed they had a significant calculator score. In District 11, we have the uh, Irian Hornets. So the Merson Irian County Hornets posted a respectable score in calculator. Let's take a look at their score. We go back to District 11, calculator. 
results. As you can see, Erion County High School um, have a respectable calculator score at 517. All right, so that was pretty much the, the top scores. They had a couple of decent calculator teams in Region 2. Nothing notable, at least nothing that I noticed in a number sense calculator or math. I mean, in number sense uh, or math or science. But they have a couple of teams that are practicing calculator. We got stuff from Region 2. Let's look at Region 3, Conference 1A Region 3. That, of course, would be uh, Districts uh, 17 to 24. So District 17 to 24. In Region 3, I noticed the Slidell Greyhounds have, have a bit of a mad team. Let's take a look at District 22. First of all, we look over here, District 22, and we have Slidell. And if we look at District 22 results, in particular, I'm looking at their math results. So, of course, I've gone through all these results and looked for notable performances. And Slidell, see, they have a, a bit of a math team. 306, they know what they're doing over there. Top three, they dominated. That's from District 22. And then I also noticed that the Fruitvale Bobcats from District 23. We go back, we look at the... Uh, District 23 results, we look at Fruitvale in uh, Conference 1A, District 23, Region 3. And they have they have a little bit of a team here. Let's take a look at these scores. So if we look at, for example, Calculator. Calculator Applications. Fruitvale dominated. They have a score, a respectable score of 539. Uh, still looking like uh, Region 1's, uh, the Harley Tigers are the team to beat in Calculator in Conference 1A. That's what it looks like. But Fruitvale is putting themselves a little team here. If you look at their number sense team, again, they know what they're doing. Pretty respectable little team. And let's look at their math team. Cool. Respectable team. Cool. So, so they're doing something out there. Their top math guy, Keith Garner. All right. And that's, uh, that's out of Region 3. Let's look at Region 4. So in Region 3, it's looking like the uh, Fruitvale Bobcats are the team to beat. That's what it's looking like. Maybe the Slidell uh, Greyhounds might uh, pose a little bit of a challenge. But certainly in Conference 1A, Fruitvale looks like they got a little team going on. They, they need to be applauded for, for giving that effort. And then finally, Region 4, that's... Uh, Districts 25 to 32. Uh, I noticed that District 30, Moulton. So District 30 here. We have um, Moulton right here. Moulton. They have a little bit of a team. Let's take a look at them. Uh, District 30 results. And they had a bit of a calculator team. So let's take a look at that calculator score. See, the only team that, that, that posted, but they have a little respectable score of 439. Know what they're doing. And let's look at their math team. And these are notable scores from Region 4 right now. Their math team, we go, uh, you know, they, they seem like they're the active school in District and Region 4. So, And their mascot, they're the Cats and the Kittens from Moulton. Moulton High School, Cats and the Kittens. Interesting mascot name. And finally, let's take a look. I noticed a couple of scores from District 31. We have the Nippa Crushers. District 31. We have the Nippa. Nippa right here. And they're the Crushers. Let's see what they got over in District 31. We look at their calculator score. Good. Above a 200 score from uh, John Dong. And then the scores drop off, but they know what they're doing. Team score 42. Uh, their math score seems pretty significant. Let's take a look. Mathematics. Again, led by this individual, John Dong. A little powerhouse kid over here at Nippa from the Nippa Crushers out in Region, region 4. Perspective score 394. And finally, I looked at... Um, District 32, it seems uh, 
On District 32, San Isidro has a little bit of a calculated team, scoring 428. And the uh, Cowboys from McMullen have a little bit of a team. Let's take a look at the District uh, 32 results here. We look at District 32. Uh, let's look at the calculator score. 184, 135. The respectable score of 428. There seems to be a, a battle shaping up between Moulton, Nippa, and San Isidro for calculator title in Region 4 to advance the state. And if we look at their... Uh, at the science, I want to look at science because it seems that uh, in science, oops, McMullen got a little something going on. So that's what they, you know, they got a team, man. You know, they're, they're doing a little something, know a little of what they're doing. So McMullen, I just want to point out uh, the McMullen uh, Cowboys. Excuse me, the McMullen Cowboys have a little something going on there in science. So. So that teacher deserves some applause. Somebody's working on it over there. All right, that's a summary of Conference 1A. Those are the 1A results. Some interesting battles shaping up there. If we go to Conference 2A, let's take a look at some of the results happening. In Region 1, we have the, uh, the, Grover, the Grover Greyhounds with a calculator score of... Uh, 497.2. Uh, let's take a look at those results. Results. Region 1 calculator. And the Grover Greyhound. See, they have a team over there. Led by a certain Cali Conyers. 497.2 in Region 1. This is Conference 2A results now. I noticed that the uh, Panhandle Panthers... The, Pan, the Panhandle High School, the Panthers, uh, they had a respectable calculator score out of District 2 with the score of 410. Um, district 3, the Vega Pirates had a, distant, a distant, uh, decent calculator score, 439. Let's take a look at District 3 for a second. If we look at their calculator scores. The Vega, but they had the mascots. Petey the Pirate. I looked at I looked that up online. Petey the Pirate from Vega High School. They got a little team over there. They know what they're doing. 439, led by a Dakota Walker. Dakota Walker. And I noticed that. Um, let's take a look at their number sense. Uh, the, that district's number sense scores. If we look at that district's number sense scores, Farwell. They have a little team. They know what they're doing. They're not scoring negative. At least they got these four positive scores with a team score of 204. It should be no. Somebody's working on number sense over there. They know the rules. You don't know the rules, you score negative. So they're all right over there. That's um, That was from District 3. Uh, District 5 had some credible scores in Conference 2A. Let's take a look at District 5. District 5. If uh, we look at their calculator score, their calculator score from District 5. We got closest scores close to 200 now. So some, some people know what they're doing. The Plains High School Cowboys took calculator, not by much. It was quite a battle. And with no, uh, no wild card this year, that means Sundown is out of luck as a team. Um, so Plains Cowboys taking the calculator title from District 5. Uh, let's take a look at the math results from District 5. Again, quite a battle. Uh, Plains takes it again. But in number sense, we have Sudan, the Sudan Hornets. They got a little bit of the team over there. So there you go. That was from District 5. And um, District 6... I think we have the highest score in calculator in District 6. So let's take a look at District 6 real quick. Like this is all Conference 2A. If we look at calculator, and this is as far as I can tell is the highest uh, calculator score in the region. That's Region 1, Conference 2A. Uh, we got this Jabri Clabaugh scored above a 200. Looks a pretty strong individual score. And the score of 560 is, as far as I can tell, the highest score from Region from region. Uh, one in Conference 2A. Uh, let's take a look at their number sense. 
Again, ropes, they have a little bit of score. They know what they're doing. So that's ropes high school. It seems to be the class of District 6. Be an interesting class and region. Let's see how they, they perform. And then finally, um, we have a decent math score, different uh, District 8. We have the Coleman Blue Cats from District 8. And they put up a decent number of sense team. Take a look at their number of sense team. Coleman, Coleman, they have a little team of 238 and a math team Little respectable math team. They get a team of 306. And these are just notable scores that uh, could compete at the region level to head to state. Uh, so that's region one conference 2A. Let's look at region two. Region two composed, of course, of districts uh, 9 through uh, 16. And in district region two, let's take a look. I noticed that district nine had the only Cubs. The only Cubs, they got a little something going on over there. Somebody's working on it. Let's look at calculator for a second. Calculator applications. They got some guys know what they're doing. Team score of 515. Respectable. Uh, they have a number sense team that knows what they're doing. According to my notes. And these are the only, only Cubs. Number sense kid knows what they're doing. And so this was, uh, we're doing conference 2A now. I'm looking at region two scores. Give me a second, let me blow this up. All right, region two, district nine only. They got a respectable number sense team. They know what they're doing. And let's take a look at the math results. Okay. They, they dominate math from that district. They're clearly the class team from that district. All right, that's only Cubs, District 9. They look to, to compete in region for an opportunity to make it to state. All right, also from um, Region 2, I looked at District 11. Now, District 11 has the Poolville Monarchs. We look at District 11, we got Poolville. And let's take a look at the results. 2A Region 11, if we look at their calculator results. Poolville, see they have this one individual, this Dalton Sprague kid. I think I remember him from, uh, if they competed at Timmy State. This kid, pretty good, pretty powerful kid, 252, not playing around. So Poolville has a strong calculator score of 611. I believe their number sense score is pretty decent. So they got a team over there that's working and know what they're doing. I wonder if, uh, who the coach is. That's a number sense score of uh, 373, also Poolville, pretty strong team. And in math, Poolville again, the class of that district with a team score of 390. And finally, the other notable Region 2 uh, school I noticed were the Lindsay Knights. Let's say they come from District 13. If we look at District 13, we have the Lindsay High School. And let's take a look at their results. In calculator, they have a 224, again, powerful little school here, uh, 637. So they have the highest calculator score from that region, uh, hoping, hoping to advance the state. Uh, their number sense score is also, I believe, the highest. So Lindsay has a little bit of team going on here. Let's take a look at number, their number sense scores. Respectable scores with a 420, and in math, again, pretty good scores, 384, uh, led in the math, they were led uh, pretty decently by a Gage Besner. All right, Gage Besner, let's see what you got in region. Okay, that was region, uh, that was uh, uh, region two. We're going to look now at Region 3, of course, cons consisting of districts um, 17 to 24. And in Region 3, I notice uh, District 18 have the March Panthers. District 18. 
have the March Panthers. They put up a respectable calculator score of 428. But I need to go to District 20. District 20 has a powerful math team. Latexo, the Latexo Tigers. Let's take a look at their math score. This, I thought, uh, they're definitely probably the favorites in state. They have a really powerful math team. Sydney Craven, Caitlin Marshall, Carter Tucker, and Hallie Castleberry. They all got scores, you know, that the first one's in the mid-200s. The other ones are all hovering around 200. That's a powerful team math score, 656. Latexo, man, they got something going on over there in math for sure. I want to point that out as a strong math team in Region 3, Conference 2A. And I want to know District 23 has a little something going on. Let's look at let, let's look at District 23. Uh, if we look at their calculator scores, San Augustine, San Augustine Wolves. They have quite a quite a calculator team. Team score of 588. Uh, I believe that's the best in the region. And if we look at their uh, at the number sense scores in this district, I noted that the Shelbyville Dragons have a respectable uh, number sense score, 320, the highest score I saw in the region for number sense. So there you go, District uh, Region Three from Conference 2A. It's looking like like Texo Tigers in math. And a battle in calculator, but it looks like maybe San Augustine Wolves have its have the uh, favorite uh, in Region Three Conference Two A calculator. All right, and finally Region Four, consisting of districts twenty five to thirty two. And let's see what notable scores I have here. I noticed that in District Twenty Five, in District Twenty Five. We have Sabine Pass, the Sabine Pass Sharks. They seem to have quite the calculator team. Let's look at that calculator score. Sabine Pass, look at that 287 from Ty Schaller. That's quite a score. 238, 168, they're a force to reckon with with a team score of 693. This is region 428. Good job, Sabine Pass Sharks. I noticed that uh, District 28 had a uh, pretty respectable team. In District 28, we have the Shiner Comanch Comanches. Uh, their calculator score, although not in par with Sabine, it's a respectable calculator score. Uh, they have kids who know what they're doing. Three solid scores, 475. But they seem to also know the Shiner uh, Comanches know what they're doing in number sense and in math too. So they got a coach over there, I believe. Number sense, Shiner Kamashi. See, they got, they know what they're doing. Somebody's teaching them a little something over there, and their math scores. So Shiner, good, good job, Shiner math team. Uh, and then finally, uh, rounding out uh, Conference Two A and District Thirty One, I want to point out that we got the Woodsboro team with a pretty powerful team. District 31, Woodsboro, a little town. As I drive to the valley, I cross that little thing. I got to slow down, make sure I don't get a ticket. Um, look at their calculator score. <clears throat> 315. That's an individual guy. That's, uh, what's his name? Nicholas Ellison. Wow. 315. That's quite a score, young man. Pretty impressive. That takes their team score to 599. <clears throat> But in Region 4, it looks like Sabine Pass might beat them. But that individual score is quite impressive. It looks like he got a teammate helping him out there. A couple teammates know what they're doing. Let's take a look at uh, number sense. See if this uh, Ellison kid is uh, also pretty powerful in these events. Yeah, this Nicholas El El Ellison, another three above 300 score. Wow. <clears throat> Nicholas Ellison, man, from Woodsboro. Little genius out there. And finally, let's take a look at the math score. Yep. Nicholas Ellison, 254. Wow. That's an individual to watch out for at the state level for Conference 2A. Okay, that rounds out Conference 2A. 
Some interesting battles shaping up there as we head into uh, region meets next weekend. I hope you enjoyed the analysis that I gave just now. It's, it's really uh, fascinating and uh, all these students and teams deserve to be applauded. And this is my attempt to applaud them. If you enjoyed the content of this channel, it will help me out if you would uh, hit the like button, um, leave a comment below, and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed today's analysis. My name is Saul Cantu, and this is Texas Math Mundo.